Hello everybody, this is Bobby, and this is your tip of the day. Hi, I'm Bobby McKinney with McKinney Baseball, and we're here to give you another baseball tip that might just improve your game. Today we're going to talk about breaking a slump. A lot of young players, you'll be going through a, a spell where you're hitting the ball very well. It seems like every time you swing the bat, you get a hit. Uh, and it gets to where uh, hitting becomes, in your mind, rather easy. And then there'll be a time when the hits aren't falling, you're swinging at uh, balls that you should not be swinging at, and you really just can't buy a hit. And this is where this is really a test for young players and old players alike uh, on uh, really how you're going to approach a slump and how you, you need to have a game plan when you're going up there. And what most players will do is they'll just get in the cage and keep working on their swing. And sometimes it is a mechanical problem. Uh, but a lot of times their swing is in pretty good shape. And what, it, what they're uh, having is a little bit of anxiety when they get into the batter's box. So you need to be able to control that, control the stress level when you step into the batter's box. And one thing uh, to do is to kind of have an expectation uh, when you go in there. I know that we work very hard as players. We spend a lot of time practicing and a lot of time preparing for our games. So when we get into a game, we're, we're getting you know four, maybe five at-bats a game. And, and each one of them carry a lot of weight. So when we're walking up to the plate, we want everyone to, uh, to turn out well for us with a hit or a successful at-bat. So a lot of times we put a little bit too much pressure on ourselves when we step in. So as a player, what you need to do is to get a relaxed state of mind, have, have, you, have a, an idea of what you're trying to do when you get up there, if, if there's a defensive alignment or a situation that calls for something. But after, after you, you, you know, make yourself aware of that and you step into the batter's box, you need to get very calm uh, and, and really in the state of mind that you are when you're just practicing. That's why so many players can do very well in practice in batting practice or in, in a batting cage. And then when you get in the game, uh, things kind of fall apart a little bit. And a lot of times what you're doing is you're practicing with one mindset and one intensity level in your mind. And then when you're getting into the, into the game, you're changing that. And when I say intensity level, this is where it gets really tricky. When you step into the batter's box, you need to be in a very calm and relaxed state of mind. You don't need to be up there thinking about five or ten different things. You don't need to be trying to do too much. What you need to do is you need to step into the batter's box and have the same feeling you have when you're hitting 40, 50, 60 balls in the batting cage. And th that relaxed sense of, of, of your body and your mind will allow you to work and to, and to think and to uh, react in, a, in, a, in a, a more reactive manner versus an analytical manner. Things happen so fast up at the batter, in the batter's box that you, you, you don't really have time to go through a, a whole analytical approach to it and a decision process because the information happens so quick. It's really a reaction that occurs when you get into the batter's box. So to have that reaction come out, you need to be in a very calm state of mind and your body, your body ready to go, but your mind very relaxed and allowing your reflexes and everything that you've learned to, to operate and to come out when, when needed. Uh, a lot of times in, in slumps, you're swinging at balls you should be taking and you're taking balls that you should be swinging at. And what that really means is that you're, you're, you're analyzing so much that you really can't make a decision. When you should be making a decision naturally, you're still taking in information, so you end up looking at a good pitch. Then you're taking so much information in when you get behind in the count that you, you feel like you need to swing or, or you, you just react in a poor manner. So when you get ready to step into a batter's box, when you have a slump, envision the last hit that you, you've, got, you've gotten or you, you hit, and where that ball went and how, how, what a good feeling it was, how good it felt when you, when you got that hit, and step in with that sense and that calmness about you. Don't really worry about your last at-bats. They're already done. There's nothing you can do about them, and, and you don't want to relive them. So what you're going to do is not think about them. You're going to think about your last successful at-bat, going with a clear state of mind, a clear, a clear slate up there. Don't get too, uh, too busy up top, and then just react to the ball. Also, try to hit the ball to the middle of the field. By hitting the ball to the middle of the field, you'll tend to react. If you're a little early, you'll be okay. If you're a little late, you'll be okay. Okay, so go up, go up there, take a deep breath, relax, 
and get a good pitch. But when you see your pitch, go ahead and get it. Again, this is Bobby McKinney with McKinney Baseball. Don't forget to check us out on our Facebook page, McKinney Baseball Training Center. And also tell your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, share this information with uh, any of your other uh, baseball friends or softball friends who you think might benefit from it. We'll see you again next time.